Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can stabilize your FPS using new graphics packs in Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. Okay, so first things first, the graphics packs you are going to need activated are FPS++, my framerate unlimiter, if you do not have it you can find it down in the description of this video and you are going to use whatever resolution graphics pack you wish. In this video, I am using a 1080p resolution graphics pack. Once you are fully loaded into game with those graphics packs active, the next thing we want to do is come to some of the high stress and performance intensive areas in the game. First up, let's go to Hateno Village. Our main aim and what we hope to achieve when loading into these demanding areas in the game is to find out exactly what our lowest frame rate possible is. You can see my FPS counter in the top of the CMU window right here. Let's quickly run around Hateno Village and see exactly what kind of performance we are getting. Keep in mind that we are not looking for the highest FPS this time, we are indeed looking to see exactly how low our frame rate drops. As you can see, we are sitting in and around the 56, 55 and 57 mark. We have not once dropped into the high or mid 40s. Please keep account of exactly what your lowest frame rate number is as we are going to need this later on. Currently our lowest frame rate number is 52. Let's now open our map once again and head on over to our next stressful area, Kakariko Village. So once we have loaded into Kakariko Village, we want to do the same thing again. We want to fall down into the main village hub and see exactly what our performance is like in this area. Please be mindful that in this test I am also using GX2 Draw Done. This option gives us more accurate emulation, fixes NPC freezes, camera issues but also significantly drops our FPS. It is however worth it in my opinion as it gives us a much better in-game experience. So as you can see, once again our frame rate is fairly steady in and or around the 60 FPS mark. Let's now travel to an area that is pretty much the worst performing area in the entire game on CMU Emulator. Let's travel over to Hyrule Castle. So once we arrive at Hyrule Castle, we want to run straight into the middle of it and start fighting guardians and seeing exactly what our frame rate is. Keep in mind that we are still looking for our lowest frame rate, not our highest one. Okay, as you have now noticed, I have skipped the footage on a bit and found a pretty much worst case scenario event in Hyrule Castle. Not only is it raining, but all of the guardians around me are still alive. Let's try to fight this one right here and see exactly what our frame rate will dip to. So as you can see, our frame rate right at the end of that battle dipped down to 48 FPS. This is the worst frame rate we have seen in this entire benchmark run. Let's continue into the center of the Hyrule Castle area, fight some more guardians and see if our frame rate is going to dip any lower than the 48 FPS we have already seen. Let's fight this guardian right here. This time I'm simply going to kill him as fast as I possibly can using the Bow of Light. So there you go, we kill this final guardian, let's wait for his death scene and see if it drops. Once again you can see that we drop down to between 44 and 48 FPS. This is basically the worst case scenario for my performance, let's remember those numbers for when we are choosing our static FPS packs next. Ok so it looks like we are about to get a blood moon so let's just come to our options menu, save our game and we can then close off CMU and begin downloading our static FPS packs. Once you have your game saved, CMU closed, you can come to this link, it will be down in the description. As you can see, these are the new updated versions of the static FPS packs created by Epigram. These new packs include fixes for arrow drop, stamina regeneration and also include many many more FPS variants. So as we saw in my gameplay, the lowest my FPS dropped to was 44 and 48. This means that I should either use this 40 FPS mod or the 48 FPS mod beside it. If I chose to use this 60 FPS mod, my game would have extreme slowdown if my frame rate dipped anywhere below this. 
For this reason, I'm going to download and use this 48 FPS mod right here. Simply clicking on it will start its download. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Let's now wait for it to download. As you can see, it is right here. The next thing we want to do is extract it with your extraction software. I'm using 7-zip, simply extract it to its own folder. This is the graphics pack we are going to be using. All you need to do is open up your CMU folder, open up your graphics pack folder and drag and drop this graphics pack right here. The next thing we want to do is come back to our previous folder and actually launch CMU. Once you have CMU launch, you want to come to Options, Graphics Packs, and now you want to turn off FPS++ and the BSOD frame rate unlimiter. Once you have both of these turned off, let's scroll down even further and turn on this static 48 FPS mod we have just downloaded. Once you have it activated, you can close this window and we can now reload our game. I'm just going to speed this footage up so you don't have to wait through all of my loading screens. Okay, so now we are loaded back into game, you can see that we are completely locked to 48 FPS. Let's just run around Hyrule Castle, fight some guardians and see if our frame rate will ever dip below this. Please bear in mind that this area we are currently in right now is pretty much the worst performing area in the entire game. I'm just gonna speed up the game footage and actually get us into a fight with this guardian. Okay, let's start the fight and see if our frame rate goes anywhere below 48. So as you saw throughout that entire fight, our frame rate did not budge at all. It stayed completely locked to 48 FPS. Let's travel back once again to Kakariko Village and see what our performance is like there. Okay, so by the particles you can see on screen, we are just about to get a blood moon. And there we go, perfect timing, let's just skip this cutscene. Okay, so now that we're loaded back into Kakariko Village after that blood moon, let's see what our performance is like. We should not budge even a single digit off of the 48 FPS lock. The game itself feels absolutely buttery smooth, and this is in fact the way that I play Breath of the Wild, even though I could potentially have higher frame rates 85% of the time if I used FPS++. However, the bugs that come with the use of FPS++ including arrows dropping way too soon, stamina regenerating way too fast, and the character shudder that can be seen when using the paraglider, or indeed when just running around in the main world, make the use of these static FPS packs much more viable since they do not have those problems. Okay, so let's quickly summarize exactly what you need to do once again. You need to enable the FPS++ and BSOD frame rate unlocker graphics pack, play your game and see exactly what your lowest frame rate is. You then need to download and activate a static FPS mod that is within 3 to 5 FPS of this lowest FPS number. In my testing, if your frame rate deviates between 4 or 5 FPS lower than this FPS value, you will experience in-game slowdown. So cheers for checking out the video guys, I hope you found this one in some way useful or insightful and it helped you figure out exactly which static FPS pack you need to use. Once again, I want to give an absolutely massive thank you to all of the new and old supporters over on the BSOD Gaming Patreon. If you wish to help support the channel in any way, get your name featured on this list as well as access to the exclusive Patreon chat channels over on the BSOD Gaming Discord, you can find links to both of these down in this video's description. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.